So I want to give an update on some things that have been going on in my health journey that a lot of you guys have actually known about and been a part of, and it's in regard to the amenorrhea or the loss of my menstrual cycle. And as some of you know, as most of you know, I lost it two years ago after my first bikini competition. And after that competition, I rebounded, I gained a bunch of weight, and my period came back like almost a year later, like nine months later. And... I thought, okay, well, maybe I can only get my period when I'm above 135 pounds. So, fast forward to 2017, started prepping for another show, lost my period, thought, okay, well, there's nothing wrong, it's just that, it's like any athlete, right, goes through this, I'm not going to go back to a doctor and deal with this when I know I'm going to do this prep. So, I went through my prep, and then I was like, okay, I have a little off-season until I decide to compete again in 2018. So this is around like September, October. So then I decided to go to the doctor because it didn't come back um, as I was reverse dieting. And uh, they prescribed me progesterone. That's a 10-day pill you take so that it can hopefully create a withdrawal and your body produces a period. It worked. Yay! (laughs) But then it didn't really work because my period actually didn't start happening on its own. And um, fast forward to me starting my preps for the 2018 season I had no period and I thought you know what I'm over this I'm not going to go to the doctor again be prescribed more um progesterone just because they're going to tell me it's because of competing it's got to be because of this oh fast forward to now (laughs) five shows later within a year's time frame that is five shows um I decided okay I have a off season and I talked to my coach and he gave me what I needed to hear, which was that I should really get this sorted out and figured out before I even think about doing another competition, which I agree with. So go to the doctor, get lots of blood work, and they are very, it's very confusing. So some of them tell me you're fine. Some of them tell me it's low. The same doctor might say, Oh, it looks like, wait, no, it's not. And I was just like, going through this process, it seems so fast, but so slow at the same time. And I just wanted answers. So they prescribed me progesterone again. I take it for 10 days and I'm like, this will work. And I'm in an off season, which means my period will just like be on its own and functioning and rolling. And unfortunately that didn't happen. Didn't get my period after the 10 days. And... Even though all this time we've thought it was due to competing and body fat percentage and all this, I get a message from my doctor. So, you didn't get your period. We showed your results to the doctors. And why do I say this? Because before I was working with a midwife, she's amazing, but um, she was the intermediary between me and the doctors. And they don't give your results to the doctors until, like, the midwife's done what she was in, what's within her steps. If you understand what I'm saying, within her practice. Um, so anyways, the doctor reviewed her results and they've determined that you're low on estrogen and you're so low on estrogen, you're in the levels of a menopausal woman. And my heart like broke and it's even hard for me to talk about it right now because I've always, always, always wanted kids and I love competing and Why else was this upsetting me? Let me get into that. So the message continues and says, the issue is that you have too much muscle mass and you're not producing estrogen. And I was like, what? I'm so confused because first of all, I don't even have all the estrogen. I mean, all the estrogen, shoot, that too. I don't even have all the muscle mass that I want, right? Like I've got a future in bodybuilding that I'd like to pursue because I truly love it. Um, and I need more muscle mass to be successful in that. And then I'm like reading the message. Okay. It says, once you start putting on more fat, this is like a temporary issue. Like once you start putting on more fat, you'll be fine. Okay. Well, I have gained 8% body fat in two months in an effort to bring this back. 
And I've been increasing my fat intake, increasing all my calories, actually. I made a huge jump. I gained a really good amount of weight after my show. I actually feel quite uncomfortable in my body. Not by the way it looks, okay? I feel fine about the way I look. It's the way I feel. I feel heavier. I feel like my, like, uncomfortable. Like, my clothing don't fit this, don't fit the same. Like, I'm just uncomfortable. And I actually, even my coach was like, you need to be comfortable with this. Like, don't worry about it. Like, it's part of it. We need to get your health back. Um, my coach isn't coaching me right now in the off season, but he's always there for me. Like, he's amazing. Like, mentally, I can just reach out to him. But the thing is, I told him that I was feeling uncomfortable and I was wondering, hey, if I employed a mini cut because I feel discomfort, would that be okay? He's like, no, you don't want to do that right now. Um, it's just not beneficial for you for multiple reasons, right? So I was like, okay, that's what I needed to hear. Even Robbie was like, you're crazy. <laughs> um, but anyway, fast forward to now. The end of that message said, the easiest way for us to get estrogen in you is to have you start taking a birth control pill. And I have been adamant about not taking one of these pills. I am not someone who wants to go on medication or be on a lot of medication. And so I was like, is there anything else we can do? Mind you, I had an ultrasound scheduled for tomorrow morning. And the ultrasound was to, it was a pelvic ultrasound, so they want to obviously get images of my ovaries and my uterus and all that action. And my guess is to make sure there's no cysts or other things that could be causing this. Then they tell me to cancel it, because I don't need it, they just assume that this is what it is. So I did that, and then upon further thought process, I thought, wait a second. And I even talked to some of my nursing friends, and they're like, Blood results have nothing to do with what you're, what's happening in there, right? Like, if there was actually, like, cysts or things like that, your blood result won't tell you that. You need images. So why would they have me cancel it? Hmm. They really just assume that it's just that, and maybe it is. Maybe it is. But I'm now thinking as a patient, I would feel more comfortable knowing that everything's ruled out before I start taking medication. So, I actually had called my mom. My mom picked up the birth control pills for me, and... So I labeled them today because I was going to start taking them tonight. And then I just kept thinking, I feel like I'm just being thrown a pill to take and that's it. And hopefully you get better. But I have no idea what the, the treatment plan is. I don't know how long they expect me to take the pill. I don't know. Um, I don't know how, how much I need to do this until it normalizes. They even said that I might not get my period from the pill, but they'll know that I'm getting enough estrogen. And my doc, my midwife was really cool because she knows that I'm adamant about not taking it. So she's like, I'm going to give you something that's super low dose, but it's enough to have us know that you're getting what you need. And I was like, okay, that's really cool of her. But at the same time, I just don't want to take it. Like I really don't, unless it's my only option. I just don't. But then at the same time, I'm like, as I expressed, and I'll probably share some of the videos that I, I actually took some videos when I found out the news because I wanted to be really real and raw with you guys and figured that one day I would share them, um, which I will, I'm sure, but anyway, found out all this stuff and I'm really upset because I think I've always wanted kids, I want to have kids, I, I want to compete again, and the only solution that was in front of me was I have to take this pill in order to do that, in order to do two things that I really, really, really want to do. <laughs> so I thought, this is it. Great. I'll start doing it. It'll be fine. And then today I'm like, it's so close to being what I have to do, and I don't want to do it. So I call the people, and I talk to a mean person on the phone, but I was like, okay, I just need some answers. Anyway, so I'm supposed to have a call on Friday with the doctor, and then I tried to call back the ultrasound place and say, hey, you guys have that appointment still? And unfortunately, they don't. Because I was going to just go and do it to make my own peace of mind feel better. But they don't have that available. So here it stands. Um, I'm also sick right now, and I think it manifested as a result of stress and not slowing down and just go, go, going, which, you know, I could have been more diligent about, but... You live and learn, and now I'm taking care of myself, but I just thought I'd update you guys on where everything was at because I've been talking about how there's been some things, and um, I think a lot of people forget that, you know, as good as things might seem, sometimes they can be really hard for people, and I have the luxury of doing the sport that I love. I have the luxury of pursuing my dreams. I have the luxury of um, having medical care, but that doesn't mean that things aren't difficult and they've been difficult and challenging the past couple days. I know that this struggle is going to be my future strength 
but it's been really hard because competing gives me so much joy. So much joy. You could take away the trophies and the card and the pro status. You could take all that away and I'd still choose it. And having kids is something I've always wanted to do. That's why I've started my business aside from always wanting to pursue what I love and do what I love because that was a lesson that was instilled in me at a young age in which stuck with me. Um, I work so hard every day so that one day I can provide so much and I don't want that opportunity taken away from me because it's a gift. It's a real gift. So some people don't understand like why I feel a certain way, why I look a certain way, why I do certain things and I think this is a great lesson that no matter who it is or what you think about them, they could be going so through something that you don't know about or that, you, that you, they haven't fully expressed everything about yet. And I always strive to be very real and raw and vulnerable with you guys. And this is still vulnerable for me. This is very raw emotion because I'm still going through it. But I thought if I made a video to talk about it, it could be a reminder and a lesson to all of us. It is a reminder to me too that everyone's going through something. We should never make assumptions and if we can just express love always to the people around us and not make judgments or assumptions and people have said mean things to me you know if we could just avoid all that and support each other on this human experience that's gonna be the most fulfilling thing that we can do for ourselves and for each other we're in this together and if you guys are struggling with anything i'd love for you to just talk about it because this is quite healing for me, to be honest. Um, and I feel like I can learn a lot from it. And this allows me to serve at a higher level. Especially as now I'm helping bikini competitors who are in, like, off-seasons and post-show who struggle with things like body image or um, food relationships or relationship with their new goals. And for me, like, this is a new goal. <laughs> Get my health back on track. And so... You know, this is something I feel like I could learn from and potentially help other people with, not necessarily from a medical perspective, but from a mental perspective. I've taken it as a gift, as a blessing, and as a lesson, and I'm going to just keep growing with it and take care of myself in the process and love myself and honor myself for the steps I'm taking to improve. So, thank you so much for listening. If this resonated with you, please let me know. I'm not asking for um, pity, I guess you could say. I just want to share what I'm going through and what my story is and provide perspective. And um, update you guys because yeah, I share everything. I literally share everything. So, yeah, with all that being said, uh, let me know what you guys are up to, how you're feeling. Shoot me a message if it's more personal and you just want to chat about it. Um, never take your health for granted. Um, stay on top of the ball and recognize that even if it's a pain in the butt now, putting it off will make it a more of a pain in the butt later. <laughs> so, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Um... Please just take the effort, make the time today to love yourself so that you can give more love to the world and receive more love. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, night, or morning, wherever you are in the world. While you're watching this video, just make it awesome.